This video is going to be a kind of lesson for the day. Um, as I stated in another video, I like to sit outside with my morning coffee and connect with the energies of the day and say hello to Father Son and, you know, do all the daily devotional work. Excuse me. And I don't know whether it was spirit, goddess, uh, coming down and talking to me about this or whether I just had a ha-ha moment of common sense. Um, but the lesson came down as um, some people tend to spend their entire lives in complete and utter misery. I mean, they make a career out of it. It's kind of really sad. Um, they blame others for their pain, their inadequacies, their failures, their um, suffering and sorrow. And it's just such a downer. I, I get that. It's a downer to listen to it every single day gods but clearly these people have lost their um they've lost themselves in their own pain and their own misery and they've lost themselves in their own negativity and can't see anything beyond it they can't let go of the past and just move on from it they're just so disconnected from the present moment that they're in and they just make a career out of it it's really really sad and we have to remember that it's not our fault that they can't move back move on beyond it um and we shouldn't shoulder the blame on our own shoulders you know we have our own inner stuff that we deal with on a daily basis let alone having to deal with the crap from other people so it is an our burden to carry and we forget that in our own workings with them. Um, they have to find their own reconnection button, what works for them, if it ever does, because some people never, ever, ever, ever in their lives move beyond the, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Move beyond their pain. They just sit there in complete misery all their lives. And unfortunately, the only thing that we can do at that point is pray that they'll find their way again and reconnect with spirit and goddess however they you know connect with power and just listen with a compassionate heart i mean this the kind of thing doesn't happen overnight you don't get depressed you don't you know suffer in one night or one day or whatever it takes years you know and it takes years to heal. I mean, as a survivor of domestic violence, let me tell you, I've spent years trying to get over this stuff. And there are still a lot of issues that I'm working on, which is going to be the topic of my next video. Um, so stay tuned. And, you know, it's really hard to try and retrain your brain to think a certain way when you've been told for years you're worthless, you're a piece of crap, you're no good, you're never going to amount to anything. It's really hard to move beyond that. And I have to deal with that myself, but that's my own inner demon and nobody else is responsible for that. I brought that on myself by not fighting back initially, you know, so I have to deal with that. And... I have to train myself to remember that I'm not responsible for the other actions of other people. I'm only responsible for myself and what I do, whether I make a mistake or I do something positive. I'm responsible for my actions. And that's my affirmation for the day. We are not responsible for the actions of other people. We're only responsible for ourselves. And that's the bottom line. And I hope that you enjoy this little ditty. Plus a B.